On a drive around town, Taktayaktuk spy chief points to 31 buildings that are abandoned. Kids like to play in them, he says. Terry Testart is afraid that old buildings like the Hotel Tuck Inn could catch fire. He says anyone can walk inside the Hotel Tuck Inn. With the building materials from the age it was built, it would be very difficult to control. The Hotel Tuck Inn might be abandoned, but as you can see, there's a lot of items left here. There's mattresses, wood paneling, a carpet. All of that poses a huge fire hazard and a, a huge danger, especially for the firefighters that would have to out it. Other photographs taken by the fire department show more unsecured, abandoned buildings, including this fisheries and oceans building that's owned by the federal government. I do not want to have an accident where we lose somebody or lose a lot of property. But the real problem, the fire chief says, isn't the buildings but the office of the fire marshal. The hamlet says the office of the fire marshal isn't doing anything about derelict buildings. It was only just recently that we received the, uh, a letter that the fire marshal would not act. It says, after careful consideration, I've decided the Office of the Fire Marshal will abstain from enforcement, given the limited resources of the Office of the Fire Marshal. It's fairly unproductive to say that the fire department is on their own or the community is on their own. But the Office of the Fire Marshal says it hasn't abandoned Tuck de Yuck Tuck. So it's not that we're doing nothing. Um, we view uh, derelict buildings in the territory as a, a shared responsibility. Dewar says he's appointed the community's fire chief to act on his behalf, but the fire chief, Terry Testart, says he doesn't know how to figure out if a building is dangerous. We're not professional fire fighters, we're volunteers. The fire marshal says he'll be meeting with the hamlet to see if a shared solution can be found. David Thurton, CBC News, Tuk Tuk.